Welcome to LogoPress 3 Blank. It's a new product that LogoPress 3 has come out with. We're going to open an IGIS file here. And it's just a dumb IGIS file, of course, with no features in the tree. And I'm going to save the part. We need to save it first before we can do anything else. And we'll come up here and hit blank for stamped part. And we'll pick this back edge to pinch. So we're locking it, pinching it, and locking it in the X and Y direction. And then we simply hit compute. There are some other options that we have as well. And uh, we'll get into those in later videos. But for the time being, it's simply this back edge that we have to lock up. This FEA portion of LogoPress 3 has been dramatically re-engineered for speed and accuracy in the past year, and we now call it LogoPress 3 Blank. And it can now be purchased independently as a standalone application for those that don't need any more than that. So here we can do the inside sketch, as you see here. We can look at the mesh. So you can see it's very, very, very fast. Look at the strains on the part. And we can adjust the slider to look at the strain percentage in different areas of the part. And look at thickness variation, both maximum and minimum. And the contour points mapping is very interesting. If you have an area uh, like around this flange and you're developing it and you're not sure where that is on the flat blank, you can. it helps you to see where that area is. And let's change back to, actually let's change the thickness variation and then go to animation and we can animate that as well. Speed up or slow down the animation. And here you can see where in the, in the stroke it's gathering, where it's thinning. And we'll hit OK, which will create our blank. And there's our inside edges sketch. And I'm going to hide that for the time being. Now I'm going to show you something very interesting. We're going to hide the blank for now. And look at this radius in the back. If we look at it, it doesn't show up as a radius. It shows up as a spline because it only shows an arc length. It has no radius shown. So, of course, wire EDMs and lasers and cam programming software in general would prefer not to use splines in most cases. So now let's hide the actual part and look at the blank. And look at the blank. We've got a perfect radius on it. Really, really great. And when you have very, very tiny features on the part, we retain those tiny features as well and don't just kind of blow over them, if you will. And here are some pictures of the actual part off of the die. We had designed this die back in 2005, I believe it was. And it's great to be able to get feedback from your customer as far as just what the blank was exactly that they developed to. So you can compare to the software. And you can see the thinning that's occurring in here with the ball mic. And this one has a little bit better light. You can actually see the material pretty good, how it's thinned through there. So just think about how long it would take you to develop the blank with this part. Otherwise, I mean, you'd be in and out of the press 8 or 10 or 12 times, I would imagine. So you can become a lot more productive with FEA software. That's LogoPress Blank. Thank you very much.